All right, let's see here. I got the hardware shelf done. Paint done. Welded down the waterbed done. Next, let's install the drain and then we'll start wiring this thing up. Definitely not a plumber, but I can read directions. So hopefully this works out a lot better than the last one did. And I don't have water all over the floor in my shop when it's all said and done. All right, so the last hole I drilled in here was too small. Um, I ended up drilling it wrong and I had to weld up some of the bottom of the hole to build it back up and drill a new hole a little bit taller. So this little bottom ring here would fit. Originally, I drilled it flush with the bottom of this thread, but uh, once we take a look inside of here, you'll see what I'm talking about. It just doesn't quite work. Got this bung inside here. It's got a little groove that this O-ring sits down in. And slide that in the back right here. Now that we got that mounted here flush on the inside, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and put some Teflon paper on this. This is the kind of tape we use for plumbing. Yeah, for plumbing air or water lines, really, I think. So we'll get this fed back through there. Now that we have that pushed through, I'm gonna go ahead and thread this lock nut on there. And that should pull that o-ring tight on the other side and give us a nice solid seal over here. Yep, it's my big spud crescent right here. Handy little sucker. All right, nice and tight on there. I'm working in here. Why? Easy enough. 